What inspired George Segal to get into acting? Why did a lull in his career ruin his first marriage? And how will his memory be honored in the Goldbergs? Hi, I'm Claire, you're watching Asa, and today we're honoring a screen legend. The unexpected start to an amazing career. Before rising to fame as an actor and musician, Siegel was just an average kid from New York, with two brothers and a family business that involved hops and malt. And while his middle brother later joined the family business, George had greater aspirations. He wanted to be an actor. Ever since watching This Gun for Hire when he was nine years old, he'd been determined to appear on the screen one day. But he also had another passion that evolved at the same time, music. As a preteen, George learned to play the ukulele before joining a high school band and switching to the banjo. By the time he graduated from university with a degree in drama and performing arts, he'd fallen in love with jazz and joined a band. And his love for music couldn't be shaken, not even by war. When George joined the US Army, he also started up a band called Corporal Bruno's Sad Sack Six. After his time in the Army, Siegel landed his first acting role as an understudy on a Broadway production. And though his first part wasn't exactly prestigious and didn't actually get him any stage time, he spent most of the early 1960s appearing in Broadway productions before he decided to dive into television acting. After landing his first role in the 1961 film, The Young Doctors, the actor went on to do several television appearances. Within three years, he'd landed a contract for The New Interns, which showcased his skills so well that it earned him his award, a Golden Globe for New Star of the Year. Soon, offers for roles were rolling in, but it was his appearance in the 1966 film Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf that really put George Siegel on the map. Not only was the film selected for the National Registry, but the actor was nominated for an Oscar and a Golden Globe for his role. And of course, after that, his acting career really took off. And then, someone hit the brakes. In the 1980s, George was presented with fewer roles, and his career hit a bit of a lull. As he explained in 1998, I got a little older, I started playing urban father roles, and that guy sort of turned into Chevy Chase, and after that, there was really no place to go. Unfortunately, his limited career prospects also affected his personal life. In an interview with the Chicago Tribune, he admitted, my marriage started to fall apart. I was disenchanted. I was turning in on myself. I was doing a lot of self-destructive things. But all that involved how to somehow break out and get to this next stage where I am now. Thankfully, this dry spell was short-lived, as after appearing in shows like Just Shoot Me and The Goldbergs, he was back to being a household name, even being awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2017. In addition, he never stopped working on his music, eventually releasing three albums, including a solo record and two collaborations with other musicians. Who knew? Life Behind the Lens of course, acting wasn't all that defined George Siegel. In addition to his love of music, he was a father of two daughters from his first marriage to film editor Marion Siegel Fried. The couple were married for an impressive 26 years before their divorce in 1983. As we now know, his career was partly to blame for this, but George had no regrets. He explained, I don't regret it, and I'm glad I did it and I'm glad I got through it. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. But that wasn't the end of his love story. The same year he called it quits with the mother of his kids, the actor met Linda Rogoff, a musical manager he crossed paths with while gigging with his banjo. The pair instantly hit it off, and he tied the knot. Sadly, Linda passed away in 1996. Amid his grief for his late wife, the performer fell victim to some pretty sweet serendipity. He reconnected with a former high school classmate called Sonia Schultz Greenbaum and married her soon after. The lovebirds were happily together until Siegel suddenly passed away after complications during heart surgery. We can't imagine the heartache she must have felt when she announced his passing, explaining, the family is devastated to announce that this morning, George Siegel passed away due to complications from bypass surgery. And she's not alone in her grief. 
Since his passing, the world has reached out to share love and support for the late actor and his surviving family. The acting world mourns a huge loss. Immediately after Sonia's statement, responses started pouring in. George's former agent, Abe Hotch, set the tone with his own statement, declaring, I will miss his warmth, humor, camaraderie, and friendship. He was a wonderful human. Similarly, Adam Goldberg, the brains behind the hit show, The Goldbergs, shared a moving statement. It read, Today we lost a legend. It was a true honor being a small part of George Siegel's amazing legacy. By pure fate, I ended up casting the perfect person to play Pops. Just like my grandfather, George was a kid at heart with a magical spark. Judging by the rest of the Goldbergs' cast reactions, the late actor had been a joy to work with. Josh Gad, who played his son on the show, admitted that he was starstruck around George. While Patton Oswalt, also from the show, tweeted, No! Oh my god, he was such a sweetie, and totally happy to dish with an annoying film nerd about California Split, Bloom in Love, and everything. R.I.P. King. And it doesn't stop there. Celebs and fans across the globe took to social media to remember the late actor. Melissa Joan Hart, who you may remember as the original Sabrina, was lucky enough to work with the actor on Just Shoot Me and The Goldbergs. And in her tribute, she explained, Shocked and saddened to hear of hashtag George Siegel passing away. From being on set of hashtag Just Shoot Me to directing him on hashtag Goldbergs, he was a true gem and great man. He will be missed. Honoring his memory. Apart from dealing with their grief at George's passing, the team at the Goldbergs has another dilemma. How do they work the tragic reality into the show? According to Deadline, George filmed the 16th episode of the show's eighth season before being taken to hospital. However, the episode is only expected to air in a few weeks, in April. Immediately after his passing, the show released a statement that read, We are devastated at the loss of our dear friend, George. He was kind, sweet, beyond talented and funny. It was an honor and a privilege to have him as a colleague and friend all of these years. Pops, we will miss your banjo playing and your infectious laugh. Rest in peace. Sony Pictures TV released a similar statement which praised George's career and explained, He was a true icon and legend in this business and an integral member of our Sony family. George brightened the screen whenever he was on camera and was a warm and genuine gentleman. So of course, it's no surprise that the show plans to honor his memory in upcoming episodes. The only thing they haven't decided yet is how to do so. Whatever happens to Pops' storyline, we're sure it'll do George justice. In the meantime, we just hope his family and colleagues will be able to heal from this heartbreak. Rest in peace, George Siegel. You're already deeply missed.